Well, some sad news today with the loss of one of the giants of Australian TV. For viewers and those of us who work with him, former Channel 7 CEO David Leckie had a huge impact. But early this morning, he died at the age of 70. Here is a tribute to his legacy. There wasn't a room David Leckie wouldn't fill, but his time in those rooms was usually short. Leckie was big, brief and always to the point. Today is a very sad day for the Seven Network. We've lost one of our greats in David Leckie. Large in life and legendary in television over three decades. He was the last of the rock star CEOs. He was so much fun. He was cheeky and he was naughty. He knew it. His TV track record unmatched. He was a big man in stature. He was a huge man in personality and he was an even bigger man in terms of television intellect. David Leckie was the CEO of not one but two networks, cementing Nine's top spot in the 1990s and in 2003 taking Channel 7 to victory. He brought his DNA to Seven and his magic and he turned us from being the number two network into the number one. David loved to win. It's an amazing step forward for this industry and, and particularly Channel 7. He fought so fiercely, you know, in terms of, um, in terms of his craft every single day. And I think in fairness, you know, when you look at the credentials across 40 years, I think he'll be the best ever television executive that this country's ever seen. A leader and a loyal one. He was probably the smartest television person I have ever met. Um, he was brutally honest <laughs> with his feedback to you but also incredibly loyal, fiercely loyal. He and wife Sky were also a loyal and formidable team. A leading charity figure and former David Jones PR queen, Sky and David married in New York and had two sons, Ben and Harry. I think at this stage, it's better that there's just one lecky in media. The smartest boss in television, however, is not how David saw himself. David used to say to me, I'm just a boy from Pimble. I didn't think I was that good. And that drove him. That fear of failure drove him more than anything else. Few people devoured more TV than Leckie. I feel really sad. It's a sad day because there will only ever be one David Leckie and I feel very honoured that I had the chance of working with him and he'll be missed by so, so many people. He knew what made a star and more importantly, he knew what viewers liked. He had the best judgment, I think, of any television executive I've ever worked with. Peter Meekin was Leckie's news boss at nine and later seven. He was the champion of free-to-air television to the end. He was still speaking its virtues when I saw him a couple of months ago at his farm. He never gave up. His negotiations made Australian TV history. A record AFL rights deal for seven that led to a lifelong friendship with former footy boss Andrew Dimitriou. He was a hard man to deal with. Tough negotiator, but he was always fair. He had a high respect for the AFL game and knew what it meant to the Seven Network. Leckie loved all of this. As a reporter, if you had a good story, he'd back you all the way. If you got it wrong, you would find out about it fast, and I experienced both. Not so long ago, I sat with him in his home where he reminisced about his childhood passion of watching endless westerns, sitcoms, news and sport on the black and white TV in the family home. And he remarked that he still couldn't believe he ended up in charge of a TV station. What he knew about programming and talent and the importance of news and current affairs. Um, he was right across all those issues and he understood what it meant for a network to be successful. Uh, he, he's left an incredible legacy and an incredible mark on the whole industry. David passed away at his home this morning after a long illness, aged 70. Sky and their boys lowering the flag on the family farm to half-mast. He was a rock star. No, we won't see anything like him again. We're too woke today. We could, no one, no company would have the sort of flamboyance that David brought. I doubt we'll see his like again in executive roles today. And of course tonight the legendary David Leckie is tonight's final frame. I love to Sky and the boys as well. He would have loved seeing this TV tonight of that rocket taking off. The television industry is today remembering a man considered a giant of television. Former Nine Chief Executive David Leckie. The 70 year old passed away after a long illness at his home in the New South Wales Southern Highlands. The Leckie family has expressed its immense sadness, describing him as a profound force in the Australian television industry with an executive career spanning 40 years from 1977 to 2017.